Hello lamp fans. Well, here's the uh, finished result. Uh, this took, well, this took me over a day to do because I had to sort of give it time to take it apart. This was probably the hardest lamp I have ever, um, ever serviced. Uh, just trying to get the burner off. Um, it was just seized right on there. And even the, um, the gallery, this gallery piece, I tell you, it was like on there. It didn't want to come off at all. I, I don't know why. It cleaned up perfect. Uh, I haven't even polished it. So I usually use uh, uh, Blue Magic Metal Polish to finish these off. I haven't even touched it yet, and it's really clean. So um, yeah, thumbs up to uh, this uh, fume-free stuff. It works really, really, really good. And uh, you know, I sprayed it on my hand accidentally. It didn't hurt. I washed it off right away, of course. But it doesn't. You don't breathe this stuff in like the other stuff. The other stuff just drives me crazy. So I used to use it outside. But this I can just use in the corner of my workshop and uh, rinse it off in the sink and it works fine. Good stuff. So back to the lamp. Um, so um, I spent, oh, at least, sorry, at least a day warming this thing up. Um, I was warming it with uh, the hot air gun, of course. Um, hot water, boiling water. Um, and uh, I ended up, um, believe it or not, I used a rubber strap, one of kind of these guys here, and I wrapped that on the burner and I held the font in my hand and just twisted it and then it just unlocked. And uh, I, it's, I don't know why it was so on there. It wasn't like there was a lot of kerosene uh, in it. Uh, I think somebody used like a paraffin wax in it because there was a clear residue, not a kerosene residue. But this thing just threads off like no issues now. Um, the wick was seized right to the actual uh, wick tube itself. So there's the old wick. Um, and there's a, uh, a fiber part on the inside. Well, it was actually stuck right onto the, uh, the wick tube. And uh, I just used uh, the easy off and it took it straight off. I did get into the top and did fix that up a little bit. Uh, it's not a perfect fix up there, but it would definitely work. Uh, I would probably want to play with that a bit more before putting it into service, but uh, this one is pretty much ready to go. Um, and it's really nice and clean. I wish this light would be a bit better, but anyhow, so this one turned out and I was really scared. I thought I was going to break it, taking it apart, but uh, you know, just use force, but the right kind of force and use your hands opposed to tools um, and uh, it comes apart much easier. This top piece, this gallery, I had the burner in my hand and I held it tight, tight, tight. I warmed this up with the hot air, uh, hot air gun and um, I just put a rag around it so it wouldn't burn my hand and I just managed to twist it and then get it off and now, now it comes on, off and on. Turn it a little tighter. Now it comes off and on real nice but I don't know why it was seized. There was no residue, but anyway, I don't think this thing saw a lot of service if it ever had uh, since 1938. So anyway, uh, thanks, uh, thanks for watching.